Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Hey! Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! Guys, I'm really loving this game. I just gotta keep saying that, man. Like, the story and the storyboard and how it unfolds is like watching a real Western movie. Like, it's amazing. I really love this game. There is a little difficulty curve, but uh, after you get used to the controls, you do it over a couple times, it eventually starts to get easier too, as well. But I will say that there is a little bit of a curve uh, when you start playing the game, especially if you never played any of uh, the game from the franchise. It's done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say. We go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. We want to work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. All right, so how do we get down there? I guess we go this way. Yep. Getting off. Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Where are you going? Okay.
Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Let's see. So, what weapon will we use? Uh, of course, the long arm repeater. Includes you, Arthur. Arthur, just pull up your bandana. All right, give me a second. So I guess when you go to rob something, you want to pull up your bandana so you can have, uh, you hide your identity. money. jump on the train hold on, let me what kind of gun should i be having right now maybe let's go with the shotgun uh i think my uh oh no i don't really have a handgun my revolver here we go here we go i'm slipping yo you really are slipping What's going on here? Let's keep moving. 
headshot. Need this money for I go anywhere, all these supplies. Should we move up? What is wrong with you, boy? How are you doing there? I'm okay. We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. Yo, don't push me off the train. Get him. Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. It's about to go down. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now, Here light the go. fuse. <laughs> About to blow this joint wide open. Unless you got a death wish. I'd right, step back, fellas. Let me change guns too, just in case. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. 
My oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Yo, watch out. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> Dang, man, they living good on here. Stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Well, shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Goddamn door when I say so. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Hmm. Somebody want their money. <laughs> For Mr. Cornwell. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. You got a cigar? Here. Make yourself Platinum useful. pocket watch? Oh, they living me. real good on this train. Railroad that good brandy? Contacts. Let's inspect this letter real fast. Blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? How's it looking in there? Any okay. luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Well, let's keep looking. This goddamn O'Driscolls. These just seem to be contracts. Some more cigars. Arthur, have you looked down the I wonder how that's going to help you, like, when you smoke a cigar, will it give you more dead eye? There must be something. No, this looks like something. More stamina, maybe? Don't see a cigar giving you more stamina, though, in real life. Let's hurry this along, boys. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Got the bonds. Got the money. Now we got to figure out how to cash them, I guess. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you! Let's ride! Hmm. Let's see. In real life, I'm a nice person, but... Okay. Get on the train. Quick. On it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. I hope this doesn't come to bite Set me in the quick. behind. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Oh, my stamina went up. Ooh, let's loot. Let's loot real quick. Let's see if he has any money or gold or anything. 44 cents. Not bad. Oh, and some gin. Seeing that, uh... I'm just gonna move him so I can try to climb on here and loot these guys real fast. You gotta understand, guys. It is 18.99. So, no. That's not what I wanna do. They wanna let me climb up here? Oh, uh, that's okay. Um, it is 1899. So, or maybe they were. Hold on a second. 
Oh yeah, well, okay. It is eighteen ninety nine, so there's a lot of uh, money difference, of course, compared to today. A couple of dollars is somewhat significant back in the day. Um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, so you could believe if you had a couple hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, it's a lot of money. So they won't let me loot it, loot them right now. Or maybe I already did. It's all good. Let's just go to the front. Oh, let's loot this guy real fast. Thought I did back when I shot him, but I guess not. Okay, some rum and some cartridges for the uh, revolver. Seemed like. Am I gonna have to drive the train? This is a first for me. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, I guess I let those guys go. I wonder if it's going to affect me down the road in the story. Like maybe they'll come back and they'll help me or they'll vouch for me. Maybe it doesn't matter in the story. But for some reason, I feel like every decision you make in this game can affect you at some point. Uh, so, yeah, it might be good that I did let him go. I was tempted to kill him, but I didn't want to kill him like I did the last guy when I punched him to, <laughs> punched him to death. Unfortunately, I didn't know he was going to die. I just thought he was going to knock, get knocked out. Oh, for Lord's sake, put that book away and go hell. Oh, Mary Beth. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're going to try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> We're finally leaving the mountain. Can you believe that? Seems like it's been a while since we, uh, <laughs> um, you know, was in the cities uh, or towns. And so, yo, we're finally leaving the mountain. Seems like we're up here for about a week, it seems like. But that's uh, <laughs> probably pretty harsh conditions to live in, to be honest with you. Like I said before, I just love it because it's like a movie, you know. I love Lenny, games that are like movies. Get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. This is probably one of the commonest times of the game yet. I mean, outside of like hunting, but. Get us out the stream. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Ah, shit. No. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. 
All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Well, wow, fixing these the uh, carriages, these wooden carriages, were pretty easy back in the day compared to a brand new car. I guess it was wood, you know. Nearly there. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. 